Hi, this is Victoria Campisi with 1851 Franchise, and today I'm here with Tim Parmeter of Fran Coach. Thank you so much for joining us today, Tim. Victoria, thank you so much for having me on. This is awesome. Great. So let's get right into it. What makes you successful as a franchise broker? Great question. So I guess I don't know, number one, if, if I am, I think success is a pretty relative term. Um, but I think for, for, for me and what we do is, is I feel very fortunate to have helped so many clients over the years, number one, just learn about franchise ownership, but then be able to help them really kind of take control of their life by finding that perfect franchise for them to own um, and seeing them kind of grow and move on and really make that ultimate change in their life. So to me, I think it's more is that success of the process and being able to really help educate the people along the way. Great. What advice do you have for people wanting to become franchise owners? So like, you know, just do it um, with this. And I think it's more of anything is, and by do it is just take the step to, to actually properly learn what this is all about. Most people don't know the first thing thing about franchising and franchise ownership and all the possibilities or all the things that go into that. So to take that, just take that first step. If you're thinking about it at all, get on the phone with, any, any, you know, preferably me, right? But obviously anybody that's out there that does this, that can really and truly kind of guide you and coach you along in this journey. Um, maybe it's not the right time for you now, but maybe it is. Find that trusted advisor, that trusted coach or consultant that can help you with this to, to lead you down this path to see if it's the right for you now. Great. What does winning look like for you? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think it's continuing to help people learn about franchise ownership, that it is significantly more attainable than most people realize. Right. And I, to me, to me, that's, that's the win. If they at least come away with a conversation and go, oh, I didn't know that they've learned something new. Oh, I didn't realize how possible it was. Even if it may not be the right time for them, that's, that's Okay that's still a big win because what we've been able to do is we've just been able to reach one more person. I know it's kind of cliche and cheesy, but it's true of helping somebody else learn a little bit about this that could ultimately turn into them taking that step that they've always thought about and wondered about to create more control in their life by owning a business. What advice do you have for franchisors help, wanting your help on awarding more franchisees? So I think in general is just the, the open line of communication, right? And the more we can learn about a particular brand and not just, you know, oh, we sell cheeseburgers, right? We kind of get that or, oh, we're going to support a franchise or, or franchisee. We get that. That's the whole point of, a, of the franchise, right? But more of the, you know, a little bit more understanding of, of their particular process, some of the intangibles that they are looking for um, in a particular candidate. What are some of the traits that they found in their franchise owners? Little kind of some of the behind the scenes things, uh, those intangible pieces are, are huge. Yes, again, you sell cheeseburgers or you're going to clean a bathroom or whatever that might be. But what are some of those more soft skills and, and more intangible features of the franchise? Great. How can franchisors better communicate with you? So there's always, you know, old school, pick up the phone, right? Uh, give me a call, text, communicate, email, um, come to Arizona, you know, roll, roll into the house and hang out with me, whatever you want to do. But just that overall I think that that interaction and knowing what's going on with our clients, where they are in the process, what's next. So then we can also relay that back to our clients to help reassure them we're not missing anything along the way. There is that fear sometimes with clients of like, I'm quote being sold. And that's really not what franchise ownership is about or this process is about. So if we have that constant communication with the franchise or um, we can help again, make sure nothing is missed Franchisor is not missing anything on our client. Clients not missing any vital information or step along the way. Um, and again, I don't care. Call, text, email, whatever it might be. But but reach out. Make sure we're really communicating constantly throughout this journey. Great. 
Well, that's everything I have for you, Tim. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day. Thanks, Victoria. It's a pleasure.